previously on the haunted island. Mm. And we're having a date mm. again. We always we dates are fun, right? You have sweat in your eye. Yeah, kind of. Mm. Yes, we are going to play Grace Brooks Brooksner. I'm sorry, I'm saying that word it's, wrong. Uh, Brooksner is probably presents the haunted island. A frog detective game. Does that mean there's other frog detective games? Probably. <laughs> there's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Say he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a, what's a ghost frog detective adventure? <laughs> I'm really liking this game right now. Thanks, Dan Golding, for all the piano noise. <sighs> Ooh. There's lightning, but it don't look too haunted. No. Lots of rocks there. Is that what islands are mostly made of, of rocks? This one. It this... looks very flat. Starring the detective. Martin! Harry! Wait, is that... That's the... Oh, that's the sloth, yeah. Is, wait. Bo, the mouse mouse. Larry is the detective. Birdie. Fresh egg. <laughs> and the rest. Uh, and the duck. Case number one. The haunted island. Ooh, there's more cases. Mm -hmm. uh, I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. Wool is worn by most people. That is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom. Or like fire. Fire? The wool was snake. Kiss snake. Mm. Oh, he's happy. Is that his mouth? I thought it was his nose. Uh, yeah, well, the tongue's mouth. coming out. Tell me about the noises and where they're coming from. I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. Mm. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Way to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, the in the book, it says that most ghosts can be seen. Can't be seen. Oh, can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. That logic's pretty sound. The proof is all there. <laughs> Got questions for me? That's it, right? Yeah. No questions for the time being. No problemo. Kisses. <laughs> oh, he's epic. <laughs> oh, he's shaking. Was he sitting down? No, he wasn't. He was right? standing up talking to us. But before he was up and down, up and down. Now I think he's more relaxed. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Ew, look at that. Who's that guy? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Uh, okay. Uh, are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. Howdy. Hello. Oh wow. Hey guys. <laughs> are they... um... Hello. Hello. Oh god, this is gonna be hard. Are you the uh. I'll, I'll do it. So. Okay, you can do it. You just about choked to death, but whatever. Are you the uh. Yup! Mm hmm. Great. I am a really great listener. So, how do you we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Wow, that's not in here. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, 
some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Ooh, we have three of the four. Mm-hmm. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients in. <laughs> Just the standard explosives recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave. Oh, spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around <laughs> as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. <laughs> Am I dead? Ooh, perfect call. <gasps> Going in. We are back here again. Back at the Haunted Island, a frog detective game by Grace Bruxner. Uh, last time we left off, we found a cave. I forgot who blew it up. This was weeks ago, so I don't the know. Lobster? Who? Larry the Lobster. Oh, yes, yeah, it says Lobster. We got the, the, the basic, normal, run-of-the-mill ingredients for an explosive. Toothpaste, piece of gold, elbow pasta? Elbow pasta. Something else. The shell? I don't know. It was like an insane way to blow up a cave. But let's continue right now. We are the frogs. I totally forgot how to do the voices of these characters. That's so. alright, we'll do what comes to us naturally. So I'm playing again, if everyone's wondering no why. Cares. No oh, Ooh, we are in the cave. Yay. Oh, yay, mushrooms, mushrooms everywhere. Let's eat them. Nom, 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 nom. I'm getting big. Look, one up. Okay, it's let's do this. I hope this game, this bar here is only 10 minutes. Get the ladder. Get the ladder. I'm afraid of heights. Wait, you hear that? It's like surround sound. This is the first time it's a first person view? No, it was always first person. I guess. The whole game was first person. No, but like but like there are a lot of parts like you could talk to people. Wee! Like how do I know up. I jump? How do I swim? How do I crawl on mushrooms? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Da 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 Uh is that our phone? Oh, is this a maze? You hear that jazz music? Oh, dance party? Oh, oh, who's that? Who's that? Oh, hello. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at me. Oh, yeah. Did it, did it, did it. Shake that. Finley. Oh, hi. Huh? <laughs> Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Hmm. Are you? Oops. <laughs> Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. Hmm. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? Uh, the detective! Howdy! Wait a minute! Finley! I know that name! I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it! Oh, oh! You're Martin's friend! Yeah! What are, are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's, it's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around here? <laughs> nah just me down here. 
Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there, there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You're... been dancing for two weeks straight? Ha <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross! Mushrooms are disgusting! That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact! Okay. Anyway, Martin been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radar while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped too. Hmm. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked by off by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Ha ha ha. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. <laughs> I, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, we head back up to the island. Yep. <laughs> this is this is the end. This is the end of the game. Ooh, this, this is a fast weeks. game. <laughs> Come on, credits. Hmm. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You what? How did you get in it? Get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Hmm. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost! It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so warped up in practicing, wrapped up in sun practicing, she didn't even notice the cave had caved in! The noise from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But my ghost books. I don't remember his voice. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It just goes to show you should never trust books. That's right. <laughs> Always use internet instead. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, this is literally uh, what I thought it was going person. to be. Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. Well, I'll, while I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. <laughs> So anyways, I was saying, <laughs> books have no place in society, in <laughs> society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the useless uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition the whole time? Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. <laughs> dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I 
think we need more entrance. Ooh, is it? It will be cool if this point on we just try oh, to get yeah. everyone to dance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. <laughs> I heard my voice really bad. <laughs> I had Sorry, a lot of help. In. Huh? Sorry, you're in busy McKinton. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry? Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I give my thanks to Larry too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. Kisses. Oh, <laughs> I yeah, forgot to give you kisses. kisses. You forgot kisses. Oh heck yeah. Did, did, oh my god, it really was like 10 did, minutes. Did, did, uh, did, did, uh, programming uh, by uh, Thomas Bulker. Uh, Bulker, uh, Bulker, uh, Bulker, uh, Bulker, uh, Bulker. Uh, Soundtrack uh, by Dan Golding. Uh, did, 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 look at that frog dance. Thank you for playing. Uh, did, 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 did. Special thanks to Doug Wilson, Leslie Kane, Terry Burdock, Jake Trasser. Thanks to Nickel Disrupt, Zora Dwellerbot, Willie Wiggles, Jonathan, Laura, Zach, Jess, Jackson, Alexander, Josh, Izzy, uh, Cherry, Helen, Shelly, Mar Matthew, Kathleen, Lee, Nick, Greg, Jenny, Helen, Joe, Trent, Katie, Lauren, Dominique, Rick, Ricky, Laura, Double, Fine, Jungle Film, Family, Fred, Larry, Soundform, Beck, Wave, uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't, oh, these are really hard names. Best piano jazz from the ever elevator with ah, That's Frog Island! Yeah, oh, I think we're practicing. practicing up. Wait a minute, who's judging? I'll do it! I'm not even controlling this. Ooh. Heck yeah, look. Ooh, do we get to pick who's the best? Maybe. Got a shell. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a lobster. I gotta dance. I'm a sloth, look at me break dance. I'm a sloth, I have dance. I'm the alligator, I think this was my voice. I love toothpaste, do the toothpaste, do the toothpaste. I think you're gonna do the voice for her. Kisses everywhere! Kisses, 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 kisses. Check my, my magnet. Magnet, 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 magnet. 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 I think he's a bear. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a bear. Is this a koala or something? Monkey, 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 monkey. Do the monkey. Brass, monkey, monkey, monkey. Look at me, I'm the frog. frog. Everyone. You know what he looks like? He looks like that ice cream we get from the ice cream man. Oh, yeah, his eyeballs <laughs> and everything. He's flat. <sighs> oh, maybe there's a tease for part two with Lobster Boy. Lobster Boy. Oh, oh, oh my Larry. God! Who, who do we pick? Um, I think Larry is filling himself pretty well. He him? Mm -hmm. You want him to win? I like Monkey. Well, whoever. Uh, let's give him Mo. Maybe. Uh, it, she tried hard. Yeah. She was the only scientist who. And she wasn't. She wanted she to be a toast scientist. Oh, Yay! she got it. Mo the mouse. Bye. Bye. Kisses, working kisses. Very aggressively. See you guys. Can't wait to come back. This island ever. Was that? The ghost. Excuse me. Oh, uh oh. The next case. Uh oh. Our dance party. Oh, so that's another case we solved up there. From before. Oh, look at that. Look how happy everyone is. Ooh, let's see, what is it? Is it our, our penguin supervisor? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency! Frog Detective speaking! How may I help you? Detective! 
Sup Supervisor! Great work on the Haunted Island Mystery! Thank you! I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at that dance competition. <laughs> yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV, every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see my cameras, any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Ooh. Have you heard of <gasps> Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available. Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. <gasps> Detective will return in. What's the name of the title? The Case of the Visible Wizard. <gasps> Ooh, you're a wizard frog detective. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. We get sorted. Mm -hmm. .net. Yay! We did it. We solved the case, and it only took us about ten minutes <laughs> or so. Did you like the game? Yeah. I liked it a lot. I guess we, if we do it again, we could make other choices. And yeah. But I think it's the dancing things. probably would be different. Like, we, we could give it to someone else. Maybe you unlock something, a hidden ending. But cool. I don't want to do that right now. Yeah. That but yeah, thank you, everyone. I uh, see Warlock Woods in mm -hmm. the hood. It, it felt weird that we split this up into three different videos, but I knew I had a feeling that doing so i mean when we hit the cave it was like it's either going to be another hour of this or it will be just 10 minutes and it was 10 you just, chose wrong yeah i chose wrong i'm bad at choosing adventure games but this yeah. one was a lot of fun i really like the frog and everything the gimmick not gimmick but the he's ice cream now the, what do you call it the, 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 the aesthetic of the whole game with uh -huh. the the way the characters look Books and the jokes the what? Books are useless in our society. Oh, yeah, yeah. In our society, it is. Very useless. But, yeah. Thank you, Audrey, again, for joining me. And you can check out us again on our website. Just go to thefreakingawesome.com to check out everything. And, yeah. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube page to see the next adventure of The Frog Detective. Hopefully, it will come out this year and we can finish or go to a different case. And now I know how long these games are. They're about an hour and 15 minutes long. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Thank you again. 